During the spring session in Tracy Mills, Carlton County, in June 1935, Manter Wilson, then serving in the Medectic Churches, presented a twofold proposal for a training for young people in Christian leadership and where young people could be brought to the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All right, gents, we discussed it. Do you think there's a need for a youth camp in this area? Well, I mean, that'd be one of the biggest projects we've ever taken on around here. I mean, we need to build, we need to find some people around in the area as well. And I mean, money's tight all around. But guys, I mean, we, we need this. This is something our, our youth need. This is, this is like yeah. the future. Well, Sports like, would be awesome, but like, I don't know. I mean, how can we get the money? Well, it'll be okay. There's a lot of you know, and 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 land and there's churches. There's so much work there's that we need to be around. done. I don't know. What if we could do it? I know where there's some land. And I can look into getting lumber. Or we could even get started with tents. Yeah. Just think about it. A whole camp dedicated to God's work. And after much prayer, a suitable spot was decided on, on the banks of the Shiptahawk Stream. In 1937, the first six cabins were erected with the help of donated labor, materials, and money. The camp grew in ways that those men in the early days could never have imagined, with the addition of Warner Hall, a chapel, a large dining hall, a conference hall, basketball courts, a trailer park, in the swimming pool. So, I mean, we could do sports with them? Definitely. Like, well, what kind of sports? What, well, we could do basketball. That's a good idea. I have some baskets. Okay. But I'm going to need those baskets back. Because of the dream of teaching young people at this very important early age, followed by obedience, many souls were won for Christ. As time passed, countless people took up the baton and serve the Lord by using their gifts. God used every gift offered for His glory. Youth leaders, pastors, singers, speakers, carpenters, laborers, and cooks. God placed into the imagination of His people ways to serve and do His work that could never have been imagined on the day that first glimpse of the dream was revealed. So, what are we going to call this place? I mean, it needs a name. Yeah. Right. Uh, we could call it Chickadee Hawk. Chicka what? Chickadee Hawk. You know, like the string. Ah. Uh, 